Hey guys, number one question we've had is how's Gusta doing? We've done over 30,000 miles so far on this trip, much of it off-road. He's 24 years old and you've seen me in a lot of videos crawling under him. So I want to give you a little update on what's broken, what issues we've had and how he's doing. Uh, first things first, I wanted to go over something you've all seen me doing quite a bit. Laying under the truck, changing out the upper shock bushings for the rear shocks. Uh, here's a couple of the uh, Mexico bushings that uh, were the nicer ones that we found that we've now replaced with brand new Icon ones. When we were home for Overland Expo, we actually got some new sets. Since we've installed those, we've probably done 10,000 miles and we've had no issues. So I think that issue finally is solved after five or six cheapos being installed. Uh, the key was just to put in some nice ones. The original set of bushings lasted me something like six years before I blew them to pieces. And so I'm hoping because of the higher quality rubber, that issue is done. But of course, as you can see, I've got extras just in case. Okay, second thing, uh, the lower link bushings. These were original OEM Toyota ones. I checked them out before the trip and they looked okay, but uh, once we had done a bunch of off-roading, they seemed to be cracking. So I went ahead and bought Wits End lower links. They're heavy duty lower links, but the main reason I bought them was because they already had the OEM bushings pressed in. Now at home with a press, it's really easy to push out the old bushings and push in new ones, but I figured uh, not knowing where I was gonna be and what sort of resources I'd have, I went ahead and bought these and it wasn't a bad idea to just go ahead and upgrade. Number three, the exhaust. Uh, the muffler had actually had the inlet and outlet tubes crack where the weld is and so it needed to be replaced. The OEM Toyota muffler was already long gone when I bought this truck and so I think it was just a cheap muffler and uh, ended up cracking there. So that was only gonna get worse to the point where the muffler could fall onto the ground and if we were running the truck while we were inside, we could be breathing carbon monoxide. So we went ahead and had them put on a new muffler in Oaxaca. And at the same time, we were getting the catalytic converter code, essentially saying that the cats were plugged up or gummed up. So we went ahead and replaced the catalytic converters with a straight pipe for now. Of course, when we get back to the US, we're gonna have to weld in a new cat. Okay, fourth thing, our homemade auxiliary fuel tank. Not really a fault of Toyota's, but one of the welds in the upper left hand corner has a slight seep that was coming from it. We tried to repair it with JB Weld, but it was wet at the time. So of course it didn't stick and it fell right off. Then we made sure the tank was dry and used steel it. After about a month and a half, the steel it seemed to allow a little bit of seepage coming through. So the third time we went back to JB Weld, which worked a lot better, but we made sure it was dry so it would stick. All right, fifth thing's kind of a minor one. Right rear shock, right when we hit mainland Mexico, the cap that's on the bottom of the body, right where the shaft goes in, came off. Uh, I think the thread sort of stripped out. It must have been slowly loosening over time and then basically ruined the threads because it was loose. All we did was zip tie it out of the way because it's mostly an aesthetic part. So we've been running it like that since maybe 5,000 miles into the trip. The shocks have 70, 80,000 miles on them, something like that. So they're well due for a rebuild. I'm hoping they make it through the rest of the trip and then we'll be sending them off to Icon for a full rebuild anyways. And with that, those are the five issues we've had with Goose. You can tell we kind of had to dig to even get to five. We're really lucky and he's been good to us and uh, thankful he's keeping us going down the road. Cheers. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's very foamy. There's a lot of gas. <sighs> good job. All right, cheers. <laughs> As soon as this is done, do this thing. It's so dramatic. It is. So excitable. <sighs> I'm doing one. <Yep>. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a good B-roll right there. <laughs> Thanks for coming along. Oh, I should drink it. You should drink it. All right. Okay. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, <laughs> Cheers, Goose. It's a very foamy beer. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, it's foaming over. <laughs> Why is this one so foamy? I don't know. I'm going to pour it in a glass as soon as we're done. <laughs> a little bit foamy. <laughs> it's good beer, though. <laughs>